Hi, in the previous videos, we saw that the problem with the radial approach to DEA is the problem of slacks. We saw that we have one common phi, that is expansion factor across all the outputs. However, we saw that output two can be expanded beyond a phi or expansion factor of 1.88. If we expand the output two by 1.88, we can reach 5.67. However, there is a scope for reaching up to 7.33. So this output oriented DEA, where we get fees, the problem, there is a problem of slacks. The constraints are not binding and there is a slacks in the output. To overcome this output, uh, to overcome this problem of slacks, we use non-radial approach to DEA. In the non-radial approach to DEA, we are going to use Russell's measure of output oriented technical efficiency, where what we would do is we would have separate fee for output one and output two. So instead of having one common fee, we will have a separate fee for output one and output two. So fee one and fee two respectively. And how our linear programming or objective function would look like. Our objective function is maximize average of fee. So if we have two fees, we would maximize the average of fee one and fee two subject to constraint. The first constraint is sigma lambda j by rj is equal to your you look equal to. It means this is binding. Okay. There would be no inequality, but there would be strict equality. Phi R, here we see the subscript R with phi. It means there would be same number of fees as the number of output. If there are two outputs, there would be two fees. If there are three output, there would be three fees. And each fee multiplied with its respective output of form under observation. Second constraint would be sigma lambda j x j less than equal to x i zero that is output of form uh, sorry input of form under observation lambda j is equal to one and this is the constraint that we add that is phi r greater than one because in order to maximize phi it can be possible that linear programming increases one phi one phi and reduces other fee drastically so as to maximize the average. But we know that value of fee is greater than one. So we, we are going to specify that fee r are greater than one. To demonstrate this, let us use an example of airline data. Here we have data of 28 airlines, two outputs, one is passenger miles and second is cargo miles and four inputs, labor, fuel, material, and capital. Okay. In this example, what we would do is we would use Russell's measure of output oriented technology and see the results. The first thing we need is lambda weights. Let us set lambda weights to zero initial values. Unit, we specify unit number. We start with unit number one. We need sum of lambdas, the sum of all the lambdas, sorry, is equal to sum. And we select the array of all the weights or lambdas. Okay. Then let us specify left-hand side and right-hand side first. So left-hand side, right-hand side, for passenger left hand side for output, it would be array of passenger, some product of array of passenger and lambda weights. That is output into lambda. What we can do is we can fix this column of lambda, array of lambda, and we can drag it across. So here it would be cargo into lambda labor into lambda and so on. 
now for right hand side if you remember in radial approach we had one common phi for everyone now we have phi 1 and we have phi 2 let us specify phi 1 1 phi 2 as 1 initial values and set the objective objective as average of fees okay. right hand side it is fee 1 multiplied by index of passengers area of passenger and unit number 1 i fix this unit number 1 so that we can drag it so it would be fee 2 multiplied by output of cargo for unit number 1 so then for labor it would be index command select area of labor first input and specify unit press f4 and drag it so you would have in inputs of form 1 respectively now we have set the everything for our linear programming we can use solver our objective function is to maximize the average of fee this is our objective function by changing the cells we can change the cells lambda and fees we are going to get this as solution variable add constraint left hand side of outputs should be greater than equal to right hand side of outputs add left hand side of inputs should be less than equal to right hand side of inputs add sum should be equal to 1 sum of weight should be equal to 1 add and this fees should be greater than or is equal to 1 click on okay select simplex linear programming and solve so if you look at this the objective function average fee is 2.39 where we get fee 1 as 1.00 that is fee 1 is around 1 that is there is not much scope of improvement in passenger kilometer but fee 2 is 3.47 which suggests that there is so much scope of improvement in cargo uh, cargo miles and it can be expanded up to 3.47 factor of 3.47 so if you look at left hand side and right hand side both are equal so this means that we have eliminated output slacks because we have used an output oriented approach this is known as russell's output oriented technical efficiency similarly instead of similarly instead of fees if we find thetas for all inputs it would be russell's input oriented technical efficiency where objective function would be to minimize the thetas subject to these constraints okay and theta should be less than 1 okay so instead of having separate fees we would have separate thetas for everyone if you look closely we have eliminated slacks in output but there are still slacks the differences are still there in inputs okay so to overcome this problem we would look at perito coupments measure in the next video